five new alternative treatments for dogs and cats with cancer that you probably haven't heard of. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. One of the more common types of cancer that we can see in our dogs is called MCT. That's a mast cell tumor. They're the most common skin tumors of dogs, accounting for 7 to 21% of all dog skin cancers. They can be difficult to treat. Many of these can spread. And as of yet, we don't have any really good conventional options. Ideally, your dog would have surgery. You could remove that tumor. But in so many of the cases, it's already spread. Then you need to be considering some of your alternatives. Number one, our first new remedy in particular being effective for mast cell tumors. This is the medicinal mushroom, chaga. It's dried and it's ground up. It looks like this. Chaga is a super potent antioxidant, meaning it's got some great cancer preventive properties. It's also been studied for cancer treatment. Specifically, it can induce apoptosis, that's cancer cell death. But one of the really beneficial things about considering chaga for a mast cell tumor, it can decrease mast cell degranulation. When mast cells release their granules, it causes a whole lot of inflammation and swelling, really uncomfortable and painful for your dog. A standard chaga dose would be about 100 milligrams per 10 pounds daily of the capsules. I've brewed some up, I've made myself some chaga tea, really good for people as well. So I put about a tablespoon of chaga into one cup of water. And our standard dog dose would be about a quarter of a cup, which is yay amount here, for 20 pounds of dog daily. Something you're going to have to mix into your dog's water, maybe add in a little bit of honey to encourage them to drink it. Tula won't drink it, but I will because I know it is super good for you. Of all the different studied natural products, it probably has the most potent, the highest level of antioxidants. So it's a great supplement if you want to prevent certain bad things happening to you as well. And it tastes kind of nutty. It's kind of like a nice little coffee alternative. Remedy number two. This is a really old remedy, but it is applicable to the majority of our dog and cat cancers. It's been used for literally thousands of years and currently has been used by millions of people for malaria. This is Sweet Wormwood. The official name is Artemisinin. This brand here I got locally. It's also known as Sweet Annie. It comes from a flowering plant called Artemisia annua. And a thousand years ago, if you had a fever, you had inflammation, you'd be getting the tea of that plant. Today, it's the basis of the anti-malarial drug, artesanate. It's been extensively studied for an array of the different cancers. And in this scene, it's been able to work in multiple different ways and multiple types of cancer. It can decrease cancer cell spread. It can make it more likely that the immune system is recognizing the cancer. It can induce apoptosis, even cancer cell death. One of the other big benefits, it's really safe. It's been used on millions of people. It's widely available and it's very affordable. One of the key ways it's working is it decreasing new blood vessel growth. And many of the cancers that our pets can get, specifically mangiosarcoma, type of cancer that my dog Hoochie died, they spread via new blood vessel growth. And Sweet Wormwood, it's able to decrease new blood vessel growth. So definitely, if you happen to have a dog that has a mangiosarcoma, you want to be considering the supplement. We're looking at standard doses of 30 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Of the tincture I have here, each one mil has 300 milligrams. That means every drop, it's 10 milligrams. 10 pound dog or cat, they're going to get one, two, three drops. It's also available as capsules and it's ready available online. Remedy number three. This is an oil. It's possible you've even cooked with it. This is safflower oil. Lymphoma or cancer of the limb cells, it is one of the most common types of cancer that we're seeing in dogs and cats today. And unfortunately, it's on the rise. More and more animals are being diagnosed with lymphoma. Our conventional options are limited. Yes, we're coming up with new therapies, but we've yet to establish a cure. And the best you're looking at with some of these chemotherapeutic drugs is a permission of about 12 months. The chemotherapy is not curative. There's a type of lymphoma our dogs can get called cutaneous lymphoma. That's lymphoma in the skin. One study done on dogs with cutaneous lymphoma, they found that 75%, that's right, three quarters, they responded to high doses of this, high doses of the safflower oil. Safflower contains very high doses of linoleic acid. And with cutaneous lymphoma, these cells, they're really responsive to that. And that's where they're seeing such a good result. 
So if you have a dog that has been diagnosed with lymphoma, I encourage you to be incorporating safflower as part of their diet. And I would be considering a higher dose. You know, if my dog had lymphoma, I'd be looking at giving her one teaspoon per 20 pounds of body weight. So she's one teaspoon twice daily. And I think you'll find Tula will consume the safflower oil. She is. It's got kind of a nutty flavor to it. Yum. So it's easy to give. Good girl. Number four, an immune supportive supplement that's now been seriously studied for cancer. This is the mother's first milk. This is colostrum. One of the key ingredients in colostrum, lactoferrin, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's responsible for many of the benefits that we're seeing with colostrum. How it can support the immune system, how it can go down and coat the intestinal tract, protecting against non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug side effects. But research has also found that lactoferrin, it has specific anti-cancer properties. I'll put a link to one of the new papers reviewing colostrum, specifically looking at its anti-cancer potential. And one of the things the researchers like is that it's been widely used. It's been well studied. They know it's safe and it's also affordable. If my dog or cat had a surface skin cancer, I'd be putting colostrum on topically. It's one of the key treatments for diabetic ulcers and they know the lactoferrin, it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, really speeds healing. Or if your dog or cat had an intestinal cancer or something like intestinal lymphoma, colostrum, it's a great option. A standard dog and cat colostrum doses 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Number five, two of the newer cannabinoids found in the cannabis plant you're probably not aware of. Number one, CBC or cannabichromine, and number two, CBG or cannabigerol. Both of these in our new cannabinoid blend, Dr. Jones's ultimate cannabinoid blend for dogs and cats. One recent study, they were looking at all the different cannabinoids, specifically screening individual ones against gastrointestinal cancer cells. And they wanted to see which ones, if any, would be cytotoxic to these cancer cells, so they actually kill these cancer cells. They found that both the CBC and the CBG, they induce significant higher rates of cancer cell death. So if you had a dog or cat that had some type of intestinal cancer, i.e. the intestinal lymphal sarcoma, you definitely want to consider some of these alternative cannabinoids. Pretty typical doses of the cannabinoids, we're looking at three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily, we want to double that dose if you're dealing with an animal with cancer. Both of those cannabinoids, they're in our new cannabinoid blend. Typical doses of our blend, it is one drop per 10 pounds of body weight once or twice daily. Each drop has three milligrams. I really hope that your dog or cat does not have cancer, is not getting cancer. But if they do and they have one of those cancers we discussed, I encourage you to consider one of those remedies. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets of my five new cancer remedies. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.